Greetings YouTube and welcome to quite the surprise at the top of the Kabam forums page, the road to Cavalier difficulty, something that we have heard rumblings of for over six months now in the contest, but we had no idea when it would come, if it would come in 2020. Now here is the big question. How tough is it going to be and what are the rewards going to be? Really a two-part question, but that's what I have been asked and what we have speculated since 2019. So I'm curious to see if our speculation was uh, accurate or not. Next month, we embark on the voyage to one of the most requested features in the contest, a new difficulty level for our event quest. But before we get there, we've got to take a few steps first. Next month, we'll be introducing a higher difficulty level for our side event. It won't be called Cavalier Difficulty, but that's because we want to use the next two to three months as a way to refine the difficulty and tune the rewards and content that is more digestible than a full event quest. We will use next month's side event to gather data and opinions on how players fare against this new difficulty. As well as feedback on the rewards, it should provide a challenge for our players that have achieved Cavalier, but also reward them adequately for that challenge level. That's great. Uh, why the lead up? We wanted to do this a little differently than when we introduced the uncollected difficulty. Instead of committing to a difficulty level and having to potentially adjust some elements afterward, we wanted to verify our assumptions in a more controlled environment. Now that, that's also smart, right? Uh, Uncollect difficulty was built for players that had beaten Act 5, Chapter 2. All it takes is one run to defeat the Collector, and you've got access to monthly content that provides you with a new challenge. Fast forward to today, and there are two more chapters after 5.2, and all of Act 6 as well. A freshly uncollected summoner is miles away from one that's achieved the title of Elder's Bane, and even further away from those that 100% explored all of Act 6. That's very true. Uh, okay, so tell me more. Unfortunately, we can't right now. <laughs> We're very excited about this and are happy to be starting on the road to Cavalier difficulty with you all next month. Look for more information as we get closer to the end of the month, and please make your thoughts heard if you play through it. Um, okay, so it's really um, just hype. <laughs> what do we think should be the rewards for this? I mean, you've got to compare this to the Glory Store, right? You've got to compare this to to what we've seen now every week in Alliance Quest, where I could easily get half of a Tier 5 basic per Alliance Quest completed week, or maybe a fourth of a Tier 5 basic and a fully formed Tier 2 Alpha, plus, of course, other incentives. At this point, you've got to make it at least, I'd say, half a 6-star for per month. Make it to where if you do two months straight of content, you'll open... A guaranteed six-star crystal or 10,000 six-star shards. And that's six additional six-star crystals that you can open per year if you do every month for the next 12 months. I also think you've got to give at least one Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal. Kabam has been so cheap with those in terms of their availability because they want to gouge them, price gouge them, for hundreds of dollars worth of units or in the unit store uh, each month. But as the game progresses, and now we're talking about soon to be tier three alpha catalysts and tier six basic catalysts, you've got to be able to make these resources that so many people have been hunting for to take their six stars to rank three more accessible, even if it's just slowly but surely. I also expect the PI of these defenders to be about where the boss is, for the final boss, I should say, for the uncollected difficulty. I expect the PI to, to start at about 30 to 35,000. If we're lucky, in the high 20s, but by the end of the difficulty, you're looking at 50, 60,000 PI with, of course, always those super hard BS nodes. And if we thought that the uncollected bosses were tough, I can't even imagine what the Cavalier is going to be. But if the rewards compensate you fine, I think players are okay with it. It's just if you're going to give crazy hard content and make the rewards such trash, especially how uncollected players feel right now when it comes to the final boss of the Modox Hotel with not even an increase of rewards, and these are so many players that desperately do need the five-star Sig Stones and five-star Shards that were given only to Cavalier players in the store. Well, it just is going to breed more exhaustion, but players are trying to find uh, an incentive and a way to continue to play the game, and I really do feel like a Cavalier difficulty is going to be a step in the right direction. We'll just have to see what the rewards, the nodes will be. What would you like to see the rewards to be? 
Please be specific in the comments. And thanks, as always, for supporting the Marvel Casino of Champions YouTube channel. It brings me excitement to talk about new things, to talk about a game that is developing. As always, just because I talk about some negatives doesn't mean that I still don't enjoy this game or I don't want to continue to play it for years to come. I just want it to get better, and I want people to have less incentive to burn out. I also think a five-star Nexus Crystal would be the dream each month. They wouldn't do a six-star even if people wanted it. That's saved for holidays and 100% act six completion, etc. Exp exploration, I should say. But a Nexus Crystal as a five-star, that's long overdue for 100% of the Cavalier difficulty rewards. I say bring on the Nexus. More choice, less chance in crystals in the year 2020.